Hey guys, it's Mario, the founder of WKTL, and I'm gonna to talk to you about how dangerous is knife throwing. You're probably thinking, these guys are throwing knives, it must be really dangerous. You'd actually be surprised. And before I get into the details of why knife throwing is so safe, I'm gonna talk about WATL, which is the World Axe Throwing League. So the World Axe Throwing League is the world's largest organization for axe throwing. And we have over 350 venues that are all members of the World Axe Throwing League. Now, the World Axe Throwing League has not had any sustained sort of major injury as it relates to the sport of throwing. And you're probably wondering why that is. And I can easily explain it with our surroundings. So first off, part of the rules is we have dividers by lanes. So if there's a group or if there's an event or if there's league members throwing on the one side, it won't affect the lane on this side. The reason I'm explaining all this to you is because WKTL rules were derived from WATL. Now, the other thing that we have is we have a key golden rule and it's called throw together, retrieve together. So when two people are in the same lane and let's say I have a competitor and I'm going up against them in league, they throw and it comes back you know, you move out of the way, but if this person throws as well, you do not retrieve the knives before the other person throws. That's the key golden rule that has kept everyone safe. The other thing too is you never try catching or stopping an ax that ricochets back or a knife that ricochets back, ever. And that example that I gave was actually the perfect one where I had a missed throw, it came back and I moved out of the way. The other thing that we have is we have these cages and these cages are designed to stop any axes or knives if, if they were to ever ricochet. Now, you'll notice that we have, we have guards on our knives and they are there for a reason. They are there to stop any knives from going through any of this fencing. When these knives were designed, they were done so in consultation with one of the biggest insurance companies in the US. And they are the biggest insurer of knife throwing venues and ax throwing venues, not only in the US, but in the world. And so what I did is I had designed these knives thinking of the infrastructure that all axe throwing facilities have all over the world. And we created these requirements where you have this uh, guarded knife so nothing is able to fly through because that is ultimately the biggest risk. It's the ricochet. In order for someone to get hit on the other lane, you would literally have to aim this way. That's not to say that it is a completely impossible scenario. It's just something that is then criminal, which is outside of the realm of safety, which could happen to anyone anywhere at any time outside of knife throwing. In order for someone to be hit with a knife, they would literally have to be aiming for them as they walk to retrieve their knife. You will never see a knife ricochet right over, but also at the same time, that is why we have the throw together, retrieve together rule. And that's why we have coaches that monitor each one of the spaces. So when you look at the Axe Throwing League rules, those are a derivative of how we create knife throwing rules. Even the boards that we use are the exact same. And that's because it is safe, it is consistent, people understand the rules, and they understand the, the nuances of knife throwing and axe throwing. It makes it exceptionally safe. So to date, I can say we have had no major injury sustained in the sport of knife throwing. And that's something that we're really proud of because we want to make it accessible to everyone. And we want to make sure that when people are practicing, they're doing so in a safe way. Hope this video helps, but knife throwing again, not a dangerous sport. Try it out. Thanks again for watching everyone. For more great content, please follow us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Instagram. Thanks again.